Hi everybody, welcome back to our groovy life. So it's me, haven't seen me for a while, but here I am. I've been in the back of the camera lately. But uh, today, we're gonna try the first of our beefy stick taste challenges. I still don't know that challenge is the right word, but beefy stick tasting. 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 Tasting's better. Yeah, and so today we're trying several, as you can see, from Western's Smokehouse. A group that we found out on Amazon. Really didn't know what they were before, but uh, uh, I have to admit I have cheated a little bit and tried some of their product. This was your Christmas gift. And it was a Christmas gift. It was gift. a present. So it was, yes, it was really a present. tasty. So we're going to try each of the different ones that my family got me. And they're just phenomenal. But we have sea salt and cracked pepper. A mm. whole bunch of crazy flavors, if you ask me. Barbecue flavored pineapple pork, kind of a Hawaiian kind of thing, I mm. think. There, zesty jalapeno, mm. a hickory smoked bacon. That will be Gabby's favorite. No. Oh my gosh! Original, original, original flavor, <laughs> original taste. A tasty teriyaki, a sweet smokehouse barbecue, and the ultimate garlic and herb. I'm not sure why it's ultimate. <laughs> we'll I'd like out. to try the everyday garlic and herb or the common garlic and herb. <laughs> original. The original garlic and herb, but apparently this is going to be, <laughs> this was going to knock our socks off compared to the other garlic and herbs. Well, it's just the ultimate. So it's going to be great. And then, as we like to do, as most of you know, we like to drink a little bit of water from around the world in, uh, in the different taste tests that we do. So this one's Fuji from Italy. All right, so again, right. <laughs> sea salt, oh, I didn't move that. Sea salt and cracked pepper, pineapple pork, zesty jalapeno, bacon, originale, original, teriyaki, barbecue, and garlic and herb. So let's go, let's try the cracked pepper, cracked sea pepper. salt and cracked pepper. Oh, that one's good. It's very good. Mm. Oh. It's very good. So yeah, oh my gosh. Yeah, mm. I I agree. I love this one. This is really tasty. It's really it's not over the top. It's not over the top. It's you taste this nummy beefiness. Mm. Mm. Are these full or are they partially pork? Beef and pork. Okay. Well, beef Great. And pork. They're a nice mix. That one's wonderful. You can taste the black pepper. It's a nice black pepper. Mm -hmm. I actually taste the black pepper much more than I do the sea salt. The sea salt. Yeah. Black pepper is my favorite. But I think they kind of like yeah. equal each other out. Yeah, really very good. nice. Yeah, that was really good. Good good job, gang. Western Smokehouse. That's one that I would definitely buy again. Yeah, that one's really okay. good. All right. So next up, barbecue flavored pineapple pork. Now this should transport us to the beaches of Hawaii. I'm super excited to try this one. <laughs> That's really tasty. That is delicious. That really is. Wow. It's like having a whole hog out on all the beaches of Hawaii. Oh my god. It's really tasty. You get... Mm. It really is. With the pineapple in his mouth, yeah. roasting over a fire. Wow. Oh, can I have wow. a little bit more of that one? Oh my gosh, yeah. that's so good. That's really, really tasty. You get the barbecue and then it's just like a little bit of sweet from yeah, the pineapple. It you, yeah, it hits you with the barbecue first and then you yeah. get the pineapple after that. Where do we get these ones? And they're only 120 calories for one of these sticks. Yeah. The whole stick? That? The whole stick. Yeah. 120 which, calories. Which is not great, but as BB sticks go. Mmm. They're pretty darn lean. There's not a lot of yeah. tons of fat going on. That's a really oh my good snack. That one's so good. Yeah, that one's really, really I'm, good. I'm disappointed that that one's gone. When I like, uh, well, we got more. Well, I know, but I'm disappointed that my bite is gone. You know, when I like beefy sticks, oh. I like spicy beefy sticks or very, very dry beefy sticks. This one was, yeah, really, really that's good. That's like one of my favorites. Let's though. hope that's that they so keep good. going. Yeah. So we've yeah. gotten everything better. So. We're Zesty two jalapeno. Two already. Zesty jalapeno up next. This should be my favorite. It smells sweet. Mm. Not my favorite dish. 
Okay. Oh. We jumped off the track a little bit. The pineapple one is definitely better. This oh, was well. tasty. Mm -hmm. This was tasty, no matter, no, no doubt, no matter what. The other ones that we've tried have been. The uh, sea salt and cracked pepper and the pineapple pork are better. I think that how. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that really that's that funny because really it's not hot. Me. Yeah, but no, it's not. It's hot got a little bit of a zing, but it's not hot. That got me like right in the back of the throat. Oh my goodness! It's not hot. How's your fusy water? I like that. It's very smooth. Ooh, yeah. I think it's going to be really hard to top my favorite water, but I think this one is. Very delicious. Italy never disappoints with their water. No. Next time we're in Italy, really we'll good. have to find some of that because the only place I've ever had it is in the United States. Yeah, so it'll really be good. Terrific. But uh, but again, so back to our beefy sticks. Even though the water is phenomenal, and we'll finish that up. Um, really good. These two, the pineapple pork mm -hmm. and the sea salt and crack, uh, cracked pepper, phenomenal. Jalapeno, great, but not quite. I think I splashed some Italian water in my glass. <laughs> oh That's how no! Good it was. Darn it! Oh All no! All right, hickory smoked bacon is next. I, I took have a lot to try. The smallest piece because I don't like bacon flavored things. I like bacon for breakfast. I'm not one of those people who are like put bacon on it. Nope. Hmm. Mm mm. I can taste some of the hickory. It doesn't really taste mm -hmm. like bacon to me. I can taste some of the hickory. No, thank you. Mm. I don't like that one. So I will say, opposite of my oldest daughter here, who doesn't like bacon on things except for breakfast, I will eat bacon, period. I guess, end of statement. I will eat bacon. Always. Um, always. And I love bacon wrapped on pork roasts and on beef, and I just love bacon. Bacon on a stick? Bacon on a stick from the Minnesota State <laughs> Fair is awesome. And I'm the exact opposite. <laughs> and the thicker the bacon, better to me. My wife loves that really thin bacon. I like the really, you get, go down to some of your farmer's markets and stuff, and you get that really thick, thick bacon. Stuff. Oh my God, it's wonderful. It's but, like jerky that way. Yeah, it's, it's so thick. But this really doesn't taste like bacon to me. It's tasty. It just... Whatever it is, but it doesn't taste much like bacon. It just tastes like bacon. Excuse me, scarf. I didn't so, that one. So I would actually agree. That's my least favorite at this point. All right. So original. Original. The original in the. Uh, I don't even think you need an original. Like, yeah, I don't know why, about the why original. I'm kind of interested in the original. They should just call it yummy. Well. Maybe they call it gourmet original. They should call it ultimate original. No, ultimate is safe for later. Mm -hmm. I don't. I personally don't care for that one, and I really don't think that they need an original. Yeah. I mean, we have eight different flavors here, and like, I would have personally picked this one as like the original. Yeah, you can say that. You can say, hey, the sea salt and cracked pepper is our original flavor. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's not terrible. Okay, no, but it's not bad. It's just, yeah, I, I agree. I it's just, like that they it's, it's not that. It's, it's uh, if this was the only one that they made, they would have trouble. No. Hate to say that, gang. That's true. Um, from Western Smokehouse. Awesome that you made the other ones because the original is just, it's just kind of there. Yeah. Okay. Tasty teriyaki. teriyaki. This one should be amazing. It smells very teriyaki. Oh, I can tell already. Awesome. I can already tell. Mm -hmm. Really nice. That's very teriyaki. Mm. Teriyaki. <laughs> mm. Mm. Oh, that might be pushing the pineapple pork. Nope. No? Not for me. I said might be. I didn't say it is. I said might be. Not for me. That pineapple pork, you had to be at pineapple. Mm. Even though I think that's what the third oh. one on there. <laughs> wow. That's really tasty, though. Ooh. It kind of, it kind of reminds me of the, of the jerky that you make at home. Yep, I do a teriyaki like, jerky at home. It's similar to this, but I use, I use whole meat. It's a really good teriyaki. Yep. Oh, that like one's that really one. good though. That one's really, really good. Okay, 
Sweet Smokehouse Barbecue. This should taste like a Kansas City barbecue. Maybe a Memphis type barbecue, but if they're saying Sweet Smokehouse, it should be like a KC barbecue. Mm -hmm. It's tastes sweeter. Is it sweet or is it smoky? Both. I personally think it tastes sweet. It does. It's less meat sweet than I thought it would be. Mm -hmm. Actually, huh, that's interesting. I'm, I'm, actually, I didn't expect to like this one at all because, well, everybody loves Kansas City barbecue. Of course you do. Um, I expected it to be sweeter than I would want for a beefy stick, but it's not. I really feel that some barbecue things are really hit or miss. You know? Yeah. Either you like it or it's kind of like a not so much. But I think yeah, no. that was tasty. Yeah. I'm not disappointed. I like them all so far except mm -hmm. for... Often that kind of thing depends on how much smoke they infuse. If right. they go over the top on the smoke, then it tastes like... Mm, it just mm -hmm. tastes like smoke and it leaves off all the other flavors. Right. Mm -hmm. So you actually got some flavor that wasn't smoked. Yeah, that's a yeah. that's a that's a good There's bite. Definitely some it's a good bite. There. Yeah, it's tasty for sure. <coughs> Look up. Okay, right. the last one, I keep reaching for the packages when they're right here. The last one is the ultimate garlic and herb. Again, glad oh, they didn't send us the salt. normal one. What herbs do you taste with the garlic and herb? Holy buckets. All of them? Oh. Yeah, it has a real herby taste to it. So I'm tasting a lot of thyme. The bitterness of thyme. Yeah. It's the bitterness of thyme. Yeah. It was very ultimate on the herb. Yeah, so maybe, maybe the <laughs> ultimate garlic and herb fits. Yeah. Ultimate. Maybe we would like the kind of laid back garlic like the, herb better. The every day. And that's weird because <laughs> we uh, we are a family who loves fresh herbs. Mm -hmm. We cook with fresh herbs. We eat raw fresh herbs. We have a fresh herb garden. That was not my least favorite, surprisingly. No, I, I really think that good. the original, well, actually, no, I like the bacon. I don't, Yeah. N no, I, I, I don't do, I don't do a lot of bacon, but that I pineapple would, was personally Heavenly. say jump into that I would personally say for me the pineapple the cracked pepper and then the teriyaki so the pineapple which you in their yellow mm -hmm. the cracked pepper and their gray and the teriyaki those three are wow I actually really agree with you on that but yeah. this is like this is my top one for the, sure. Uh, I would say that the uh, next after that, they're going in groupings, the garlic and herb and the sweet smokehouse barbecue would be the next grouping. And then the, strangely enough, for me, because I love peppers, the zesty jalapeno, the hickory smoked bacon would be the next grouping. And my least favorite is their original. Gourmet. See, original I told you, I, like when we were tasting the original, yeah. I said, I really favorite. don't think that you need an original. I'm like, especially if yeah. you have eight different flavors, I really don't think yeah. that you need an original. But these guys right here. So you're saying that the teriyaki was your top favorite? No, no, I'm saying just as a grouping. Oh, as a grouping. As a okay. grouping, okay. these three right here are amazing. The pineapple gotcha. pork, the cracked pepper, and the teriyaki are amazing. I'm I not going to pick them out one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm saying these three are phenomenal. These th two would be my second grouping. These two, and then this one I... Yeah, I don't, I don't... See, I, I kind of agree with you. I definitely agree with this, but this, obviously, is my absolute number Okay, one. so your grouping would look like yeah, that. Yeah, one, two, and three. Well, you so can go... Pineapple. You have actually have a one. I have a one. And then those two. And this two. is the second grouping. Yeah. And then, let's see here. Well, I'm just organizing oh. them. I put the, well, see, so yeah, I have pineapple, number one. My second grouping, I have the teriyaki and the black pepper. They're, They're really tasty. Very, very good. And they're very flavorful. Um, I put the, the jalapeno and the barbecue in a group together. Not a huge fan of the barbecue, but I like it better than some of the other ones. Um, and in my last group, I have the bacon, the original, 
and the garlic and herb. I think these ones were just a little too much for me and I preferred these other ones against those sure. three. All right, so Gabby and I are together. The uh, yeah. and We've already said them, but the uh, sea salt and cracked pepper, the teriyaki, and the pineapple pork are Amazing. awesome. Yeah, they awesome. really are yeah. really, really good. So, yes, let us know if you're familiar with this brand or you've tried them. Let us know down below what you think about them mm -hmm. uh, because our taste buds may be different than yours, but usually, Gabby and I are a little different on the way we like things. Yep. So it's interesting that we, we chose the same three, three on this one. And I will say once again, Fuji water from Italy oh, yes. was phenomenal. I think we've already finished. So yeah. we, we've uh, drank almost a good portion of the bottle, just the two of us. So we recommend if you find that, um, give it a shot, give it a whirl. Obviously not the cheapest water in the world, but it's a phenomenal. It's worth it. So uh, we're going to, uh, to move on and we will see you all very soon. So right. thanks for stopping by. Bye! Bye! Oh, I put this in my bloody Mary.